gotten started in maybe a couple months. Fired up last time just fine. And once it started, we've been having a little warmer weather. I was going to pull it out of the garage. Um, went to go start it, and it would just crank and crank and crank. Acts like it's getting no fuel. And where the fuel tank is, pull that cover off. There's a bunch of, uh, yeah, crap. So I'm going to clean this up here, um, see if any of these wires are broke. Hopefully they're not, and then I'll start checking fuses and stuff like that. Okay, well I think I figured out uh, at least part of the problem. Not sure what you can see in there, but there's definitely broken wire right there, um, the top. It came off from down there, and the other two. I'm not sure you see one, but it's uh, severely falling apart and corroded. Um, as long as that ground is very rusty too. So, overall this is uh, uh, not good. Okay, this is where I'm at so far. Uh, put new ends, wiring ends, uh, extend the wires, fix them, just kind of quickly. Um, where that yellow one is down there, the yellow strap with the red wire going to it now, it has 8 volts instead of 12. Uh, the green one has nothing. And whatever that next one down there is, um, has nothing also for power. So, not sure why I um, haven't made it that far yet. I was hoping one of those might have fixed the uh, fuel gauge issue, but it did not. So, I guess I'll get to uh, doing some more digging around. Um, found more rat nest um, underneath there. This is underneath the back seats here. And... This is actually uh, ECU, um, and I believe there's not ECU right behind this panel here. But these relays and everything are for um, the fuel injection system. So, you'll start testing things back here. Okay, um, I got the alpha running again, partially. Uh, what it was, was I basically took out the inline or this uh, bus type fuse um, and that didn't work. I put an inline fuse so basically it's got two wires and then you can put a regular style fuse in between. I took this out, put that in there at 12 and a half volts each side. That did not fix any issues. Um, basically the fuel injection computer is right underneath this cover. There's two relays in there, main relay and drive relay. The bigger relay um, controls the, the temporary power of the fuel pumps. The smaller relay energizes that second relay. Um, I did take the small relay and put it in a relay tester, kick on and then fail. So I replaced that, still didn't start, um, still wasn't getting any, uh, the fuel pump still wasn't kicking on. I had my son, uh, um, the high pressure fuel pump wasn't coming on. So typically you turn the key on, it momentarily sends power to the fuel pump. So I had my son cranking, so while it cranks, it'll send 12 volts to the fuel pump. I was uh, checking power underneath there with just a cheap multimeter, um, not getting any power there. So a little frustrating, figured I wasn't getting power, but I had power everywhere else in the relays you should. So what I did was then take um, a wire, a really long one, uh, basically I jumped uh, on the big main relay, I took a uh, Terminal 30 and 86 and jump power to it. So 30 always has a 12 and a half volts. 86 does not. That's a temporary power. Jumped it so it would always send 12 volt power to the main fuel pump, which is underneath the car. Uh, let's see if you can see it. The main one is uh, that one right there. That's the high pressure pump. Um, so when I jumped the uh, power there, I was testing. Um, and as I moved the meter around, I would actually start getting 12 volts power. So then I decided just to hit it with a screwdriver, the fuel pump came on. So basically the fuel pump's going bad. After hitting it, I cranked the car over and it started and then uh, died again and started again. I hit it a few more times. So right now it, uh, it's kind of running, it's not really fixed, but the problem is the fuel pump. But one thing, I did fix all the wires in the back. Uh, so now the fuel gauge kind of moves. Um, it was kind of bouncing there. No, maybe not now. Yep. 
See? Okay, it won't start anymore. Um, that's right, now what the problem is, the pump does make some noise now. Uh, I'll get that changed out in the fuel filter. And, uh, let you guys know, um, should run a lot better. I think I'll do a complete tune-up. Um, next video I will change the main uh, high-pressure fuel pump, the fuel filter, spark plugs, wires, cap, rotor, um, then see how this thing runs. Uh, maybe a couple months, buy some tires for it, actually go for a drive that's more than three feet, uh, see if it makes it. Um, I'm guessing it won't. It's an alpha. So, take care.